Hello friends, welcome back to Student Blog. <coughs> In this uh, Nutanix uh, series of training sessions, uh, we'll be looking at uh, how to fix a cluster issue if it is not st started, or uh, how to start a cluster. Uh, like, for example, uh, if we go to a lab, uh, I'm trying to access my cluster, and uh, cluster is not accessible. So in this uh, scenario, our VMs or anything won't be accessible via uh, browser. So we need to check what exactly happened. So to fix, we need to fix it and then uh, we'll come to know. So for that, uh, what uh, we need to do is we need to connect to any CVM, uh, any, any CVM in our network. So I'm going to connect with my existing CVM is uh, this is my CVM IP 192.168.0.101 I just connected so let me increase the size of the screen so I just connected so uh, let me check my cluster status for that command is cluster status so when you run this command so what happening is like uh, it's uh, attempting to connect to the zookeeper service and uh, it found that status the cluster is in stop state and all the services are in down state so once you found this we need to start the cluster so command is cluster start once you do it it will again try to connect to the zookeeper and I will try to start the all the services which are down so it's trying to connect to the mm, uh, like it's trying to start the services all available services which are showing as down once it is done uh, again we'll check the cluster status and uh, when we check that if all services are in started state then obviously we'll be able to access the cluster via browser so we'll just wait and see how it goes so still it's in progress we'll wait okay now all we are able to see all services are up so here like you can see the status and uh, you can see lockdown is disabled so we discussed about the lockdown mode in our previous uh, uh, videos so I'm just trying to check the status so when I run clusters uh, status uh, it will try to connect to the zookeeper and uh, we are able to see all services are in started state when it is done then when I try to browse my cluster name I am I will be able to log into that so uh, let's see so it's loading now so we will go here and uh, we'll log in with our uh, AD account So we are able to log into our cluster successfully. So here you will be able to see like everything is fine. So we are able to see that our CVM is rebooted. So that's fine. So we can ignore it. So that's all for this video and uh, we will meet in our next video. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe my channel and uh, like my videos. Any queries and suggestions, please reach out to me on bstudentblog at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.